there, I'll be there. You know, like uh, if it's 6 a.m., I'm there. If it's you know 10 at night, I'll be there. You know, just trying to make sure the team's needs are all met. And what I do on the strength and conditioning side of things, I manage the weight rooms to make sure everybody's being safe. On the varsity side of things, I design programs. Weightlifting programs for uh, specific teams. The way programs are designed is you have your whole year. And in that year, you have off season, pre season, season, post season. And each of those seasons has a different program, a different workout program for it. And then uh, it, it can actually go as far as programming individual pro, uh, workouts for each athlete, depending on their commitment level. But most athletes have my email, cell phone, Facebook, and they're constantly asking me questions. Uh, programming question, uh, I get a lot of diet questions, uh, and a lot of people asking me about uh, other things. I'm just trying to you know, educate, consistently educating and making sure that all of our athletes, when they are out of school, they can still train and design their own programs and do their own thing out when they graduate. Because fitness is something that you should be maintaining for the, you know, your life, your whole life. We have a good time, get better, get stronger. I've seen athletes go for four years training and they start off unsure and they come out top of their game. And it's, it's just amazing to see. I really enjoy watching someone break barriers. I think weightlifting or just training in general is a series of failures that lead you to success. You know, you're constantly pushing yourself, constantly breaking and pushing that. And, through those failures, do you what do you lean on? You know, I believe as a Christian scientist, we do lean on our metaphysics. That's what makes us so lethal in a training environment and on the field. We want a performance enhancer. It's, it's Christian science. It's, it's unfair, almost. You know, if the NCAA can regulate it, they probably would. I've seen a lot of athletes, a, a good handful of them, um, really push that to the envelope, and they are they're reaping the benefits. And it's, it's it's amazing to be a part of that process, to be a support. That's what strength and conditioning coach is. We support in every facet. We try to help support the athletes, the coaches, everybody. We don't have a team, but we have the whole all the team. So that's the cool part. About it. I really, I really love that.